In this video, I'll be going over how we can connect your bill spend expense accounts to your QuickBooks desktop company. Before setting this up, there are a few requirements to be aware of. You'll need to be logged into single user mode, and you'll also need to make sure you have admin access to both QuickBooks and your bill spend expense account. You also want to make sure you have admin privileges to install the Sync dashboard on your system. If you already have the Sync dashboard installed on your machine and you're on at least version 3.2, you can proceed to the next step. If you need to check your version, you can open up your Sync dashboard, click about, and your version will be displayed there. To install the Sync dashboard, you can find the link for this download either in our Help Center or within your accounts during the integration setup workflow. You'll want to use that link, and that's going to download this file, and then you can run that file to install the Sync dashboard. Please note that you'll want to install the Sync dashboard on the same machine that's hosting QuickBooks. If you have this on a server, you'll install the Sync dashboard there. If it's on a local machine, you'll install it on your own machine. Once installed, it'll look something like this. Next, we're going to go ahead and create a credit card account within your QuickBooks company. Open up QuickBooks, navigate to your chart of accounts, and then we'll create a new account. You'll select this as a credit card type account, and then you can give it any account name that you would like. Now we're going to get the Sync dashboard connected with your QuickBooks. As a reminder, you want to make sure you're logged into single user mode, and you'll also want to make sure you are logged in as the admin within the account. Next, we need to get the Sync token to set this up. You'll log into your bill spend expense account as the admin, navigate to integrations, and then click connect for QuickBooks desktop. You'll navigate through the first couple pages. And then on the third page, if you scroll down on the right hand side, there's going to be the sync token. You'll want to copy this token and we'll be putting this over in the sync dashboard. Now you'll go back to your sync dashboard, go ahead and select new, and then we'll navigate through this workflow. Make sure the QuickBooks file looks correct, and then hit Next. You'll be prompted with this application certificate if this is your first time set up. You'll want to select Yes, allow when the QuickBooks is not running, and if it asks, you'll want to log in as an admin. Go ahead and continue through the certificates. And once you've come to this screen for the email or username, You'll put in the word token in all lowercase, T-O-K-E-N. For password or token, you'll paste that sync token that we just copied from earlier. Now select the company right here and hit finish. You'll want to say yes when it confirms to sync your bill company with your QuickBooks company. Now you should see that company under the sync profiles. We're going to run a sync for the first time to move all the information to your bill spend expense account. Select the company and run the sync. The sync may take a few minutes for the very first time to complete, so be patient and just wait for that to finish. Once the sync is completed, you can close out of that. Anytime you need to move data between Bill and your QuickBooks company, you'll follow that same process by opening the sync dashboard, select the company, and run the sync. Now we'll continue with the configuration back over in Bill Spend Expense. Continue through the workflow and then hit finish. In your integrations page, go ahead and hit configure under QuickBooks Desktop. For the sync from credit card accounts, you'll select that credit card GL account that we just created. If you'd like, you can enable the vendor sync. When this is turned on and we sync transactions over, we'll be looking for matching vendor names and posting to those vendors, or if we don't find that perfect match, we'll be creating new vendors. If you'd like to enable the auto sync, this will queue up fully completed and approved transactions every 24 hours, and it's going to be looking back seven days to sync transactions that have not been synced. Please note you will still need to initiate the sync from the sync dashboard that we installed on your machine. For the transaction link sync, if you have this enabled, we'll be syncing the transaction URL to the header memo field. The line item field will contain details of the cardholder and any notes they left on the transaction. If you prefer, you can swap these fields or you can turn off that link sync. Next, we'll go through the mapping process for the classifications. The mapping process will look similar across all the classifications, so I'll just show what it looks like for the chart of accounts. Click Configure. When you come to this screen, you can either select an existing field 
or you can type in to create a new field. Select the field, hit continue, and then you can select auto map accounts. The left hand side will display your accounts from QuickBooks. On the right hand side, these are how the accounts are going to appear in bill spending expense. If you'd like, you can rename these in bill spending expense. You can also remove these fields by selecting the checkbox and hitting unmap. Once you determine the fields you want in your accounts, you can go ahead and hit save. If you need to add or remove any additional field options, you can come back to the screen later. Once you have all your desired classifications set up, you'll be ready to start syncing. Next, I'll walk through how you're going to be able to sync transactions manually if you need to. On your transaction screen, you can select those transactions, hit bulk actions, and then you'll stage the transactions to sync. Once those transactions are staged, this is where you'll come back to your sync dashboard, select the company, and then run the sync. If you have the auto sync turned on, that auto sync will automatically stage those transactions to sync into QuickBooks. After the sync is completed, you'll be able to see those transactions in your bill spending expense credit card account.